Well, welcome back, everyone, and, and just pleased to be joined in studio this evening with our members of the uh, Norwood High School football cheer squad. Uh, we have uh, first and foremost Coach Jill Buckman. Jill, welcome to you, Coach. Thank you. And our senior captains, Jillian Olbreeze and senior captain Kendra DeTulio. Welcome to both of you as well. Thanks for joining Thank us you. tonight. First of all, to the seniors again, you know, congratulations on on graduation. What a you know special day for 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 the two of you. So I just want to you know on behalf of everyone at NCM to to congratulate both of you and to congratulate all three of you you know for for a great season you know of, of cheer up here at the high school coach I, I wanted to kind of start start with you um you know your season this year normally for fall football was this spring but um in general what goes into getting you know your squad ready to start their season so usually um the girls actually start in june Believe it or not, we set up a um, tumbling class that they all do all summer long, and they also participate in the program that they do here at the high school. Um, marathon training does, okay. yeah. so they all participate in that, and then we set up a tumbling class that all of them go to during the summer. And then usually in August we we start uh, we start practicing right around when the football team does. Right. Um, so we have a couple of weeks of practice, and then we usually have our choreographer come in and do our routine for the season, and then we get ready for competition season, which is usually the month, the whole month of October, and usually the first two to three weeks in November. Okay, and, and we've been speaking with a lot of the teams, you know, over the course of this year in terms of how things obviously all got changed a bit around because of that COVID thing. Um, so your, your season obviously got moved to, to the spring. Mm -hmm. Did you have to make certain modifications then to your schedule, being that things were moved from the fall to, to the spring? Uh, definitely. Um, as far as like tumbling, I mean, they couldn't, they couldn't tumble all that time. And some of the girls did basketball. I mean, um, I don't know what happened, the failed hockey and stuff. Yeah. So um, things did get a little jumbled. Um, and then I think girls really missed out on that fall. They enjoyed doing that fall season. Right. So it was kind of strange to do it in February. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think it did really affect everything being moved. You know, you know, to, 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 you, to you guys here, to, to our athletes, um, you, you know, when you knew that you were at least going to be able to cheer this, and we'll keep calling it fall, but you know, when you got a chance to cheer this spring, um, did you find it was, because it's a different season, did you find it was, you know, did, you, did you approach the season any differently along that lines? Um, I don't really think so because we didn't think we were going to have one at all. Okay. So when we were told that we were going to have one, we were like, oh, if it's in February, it's fine, we're having one. Yeah, yeah. and, and I've kind of heard a lot of the same thing from all of our athletes that they were just thrilled to be able to do their particular sport. And I, I suspect the same would, would apply to you guys. Um, you know, Jillian, we were talking before we got on air in terms of some of the changes initially that the MIAA set up, because they set it up for all the sports, and, and cheer was not, you know, unaffected by it. What, what sort of changes initially did the MIAA put on you guys? So a big part of cheer is stunting and putting people up in the air, and you have to be really close for that. So with COVID and everything, they originally were like, no, we're not going to do that. It's too risky. And we eventually got to do it, which was fun, but we were still protected. We still had masks on. We were being very safe about it. Um, and the other thing you mentioned, too, I think early on was in terms of, because part of your routine is obviously we see you guys at halftime at, at midfield with, with the routine and the folks flying all over the place. But you're also there on the sidelines throughout the game. But there was a spacing issue there as, as well, right, uh, Kendra? How did yeah. they set that up initially? So initially we had to be six feet apart, so they put marks on the field for the football players to stand six feet apart. Mm -hmm. But we had to be all the way in the end zone. We couldn't be near the football players. And then we all had to be six feet apart, so we were like yelling down the line because we had called cheers, so everyone knows what we're doing. Right. So it was like a lot of yelling. <laughs> yeah. And I guess, you know, because one of the things about cheer is that noise and that excitement and that energy that you bring to any sporting event. Um, did you find that it was kind of a little unusual being, again, that distance versus being, I suppose, like right next to each other? I mean, yeah. how, how did that feel this year? It was definitely weird looking like down the line and seeing people doing like your three counts ahead of other people. But yeah. we, it was weird yeah 
Because, yeah, like, we're always so close and, like, able to talk to each other, but... Right. You know, now, Coach, now, did, did, in terms of calling out the various cheers or however that works, did the spacing, again, have to change the way you kind of set up the season, the way you went through your various routines? Um, it changed as far as, like, like the girls said. Like, usually they're close enough that, like, everyone can hear what cheer they're calling. Mm -hmm. So, like, they would call a cheer and then I'd be, all right, this is what we're doing, like, to get to the other half so that everyone kind of knows what, what's going on. Right, right. Um, Jillian, you had mentioned, you know, early on there was not going to be any of the, the flying aspect to it. But, so did you start the season anticipating none of that? And then all of a sudden they say, oh, by the way, you can go ahead. Is that kind of how it all played yeah. out? When that happened, I guess, Coach, I'll start with you. When they, all of a sudden you realize now we can toss folks up in the air, what kind of changes did you have to kind of make on the fly to go, okay, let's put that part back into our routines? Yeah, it was kind of crazy that throughout the season. Things were changing all the time. So when we first started, when I first told the girls, you know, we're having a season, like they said, we could the, the rules were there was no stunting. Mm -hmm. And we also had to do um, two cohorts, like a cohort one and a cohort two. They could only be 10 girls in each cohort. So that was all given to us and there was no stunting allowed. Right. Like when the girls tried out, actually, um, they weren't allowed to stunt, which is usually a big part of our trying out. So once it was like, I think right before we, right after tryouts, and they gave us the okay that we could start something. So it does, it changes the dynamics again, you yeah. know. So all yeah. of a sudden the girls are like, all right, we're not gonna be stunting, we're just doing sideline cheer. Right. And then all of a sudden, you know, I come in on Monday being like, oh, now we can stunt. <laughs> oh, by the way, yes. it's changed today, right, <laughs> yep. yeah. And wait till tomorrow, it might go back a different way, right? Exactly, and it was like that with competition, you know, when we first started trying out, there was no competitions going to happen. Right. And then like a week later, or two weeks later, they were like, oh, there's gonna be one league competition that you can participate in. So that yeah. changed everything again. Yeah, and that, that is interesting, because I know you guys went out to Bellingham um, to, to as part of the competition. How far into the season were you, Jillian, when you heard that you were gonna actually have the competition? Had you guys already kind of started the Yeah, season? so our season was technically February to April, mm -hmm. and I think we heard maybe like three weeks ahead of the competition that we were actually competing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe four, like maybe a month, three weeks, like. Not a lot of time. Right, right. And, and um, Kendra, when you heard that, because usually you've got a full season to prep for, right? Yes. Yeah. So Kendra, now you're, you've only got a much smaller time frame to get ready for it. What's that like to be able to get yourself ready to go to this competition? It was hard because we weren't stunting originally. Right. And stunting is a huge part of our routine. So like we were trying to put together stunt groups, we were trying to figure out what was gonna work, what wasn't gonna work. We did good with the dances. The girls did very good with the cheer, like all the certain parts of the routine, the jumps, the choreography, we all like taught each other. That was fun, yep. but the stunting was challenging. Oh, I can imagine. In you know, such little time. Yeah, that's it, because this is not something you just pick up and go, oh, hey, this afternoon, let's go stunt. Mm -hmm. um, but it, the, I guess if, if anything, that's that was across the board for all schools, for all teams. Yeah. So everybody was kind of in that same that same boat. Coach, tell us a little bit about you know the Bellingham the tournament, you in terms of the number of teams and, and, and all that. How many squads are out there competing for that? Um, there was actually in total there was uh, three squads. Okay. Uh, competing for varsity. Right. Um, again, we were so lucky that it was actually in person. Yeah. Uh, most other people had to do it virtually. But because it was so small, we were able to do it in person. Right. Uh, obviously, no parents were allowed to be there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it really felt good to be able to be on the mat in person in yeah. front of, you know, the other teams were all cheering on. Yeah. We were all cheering each other on. Yeah. So it was really, I think it was really nice, especially for my seniors, to get their last time to actually compete in front, like on an actual mat with yeah. everyone there. Yeah, it's a culmination of all of your years of experience. Now, Jillian, I know that you missed this year yeah. because, and I think as I was saying to a couple of your athletes here, it seems to me that every time I see the cheerleaders go up, they've got bandages on wrists <laughs> and knees and ankles. Jillian, tell us, because I thought it was interesting, why did you miss a belly hand? I was actually concussed, so <laughs> I had a concussion oh, from one yeah. of the practices before. But everything's but fine now. Yes, right? okay, we're good, okay. Good, good, good. Um, but you'd been able to at least be, go to other yes. vocational before. Okay, so you just kind of, in second place finish. 
Yes. Which is which is very exciting for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was one thing that I did note, you know, especially at the football games, not only this year but in the other years. You know, Coach, and you mentioned it, how when you guys are out doing your routine, the visiting cheer, for example, will come and watch and cheer on you guys, and the opposite happens. I think it's just such a neat community, you know, between the various schools. You know, from from a you know an athlete standpoint, what's it like, you know, to be you know, obviously performing at home, but you have that extra kind of support from other schools and, and their squads. It's really nice because we know end up we're all going to be like competing at each other, but we all, all the schools support each other. Yeah. And when one team goes, does, does really good, you'll always clap for them right. and be yeah. proud it's of them. Of a, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a neat thing. It, it, Kendra, when you are cheering on another school, for example, what are some of the things that you kind of look for as a cheer when you see somebody else go, oh, wow, that was pretty cool what are some of the neat things that you've seen I think cheerleading like when we cheer for other teams it's the most fun yeah because like when we're performing there'll be teams in front of the mats behind the judges and like when you jump they're all like hit yeah. hit and it like it is so much fun That's cool. it's so exciting and yeah. like everyone's all yelling and then the people on the mat are yelling right like this competition the last one was the most fun that Good. I've had yeah I mean, you know, we, we talk about how it's been difficult for all of you guys and, and, and all of the athletes, but to be able to kind of take away that kind of memory, I, mm -hmm. I think, is, is really very special. So, um, you know, Coach, these are your only two seniors on your, on your squad here. We prepped you for this question, so. <laughs> <I know. laughs> tell, just tell us real quick what these two young ladies have, have meant to you and to, to the cheer program here at the high school. Um, they, these two are exceptional. They mean the world to me. I've been lucky enough to be their whole journey, yeah. be involved. Their freshman year, I was um, the JV coach, but I was able to, I was there a lot of practices. And then I actually got to coach them their sophomore, junior and senior years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they just mean the world. They're both excellent cheerleaders. Um, they're kind, they're the leaders. I, I can only imagine what they're gonna do for their futures. I see bright, bright futures yeah. for both of yeah. them. I, I will say this, that in the times that you guys were cheering, because I would help out, coach would come up and, and play the music and and just the way she would watch you guys and just help <laughs> crowd you no I'm not, I'm not I'm serious she was just it was just so fun to watch your reaction mm -hmm. when you guys performed well and did exactly so yeah she she has nothing but great things to say about you guys you're wrapping up your cheer career up here mm -hmm. you know, Jillian I'll start with you what do you think you'll miss most about about cheer cheering with my friends yeah. and for my friends well, that's not because yeah. I've been cheering since eighth grade, so I've grown up. Well, we're all friends. We're all friends yeah. with our friends on the football field, and just cheering them on for the past five years yeah. has been so much fun. And cheering with Kendra for the past four, right. and everyone on the team, I'm just gonna miss it. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what we hear from yeah. seniors: is that it's that camaraderie that you guys build, yeah. regardless of what the sport is. You know, it's, there's this bond that that is developed. Um, you know, Kendra, to you. You know, if you had to kind of pick back on a, on, a, on a best memory, as it were, for cheer, I know you mentioned the Bellingham tournament was one, but is there anything else that you're kind of like, wow, this was really up there? Well, this year, cheering with my sister, because she's a freshman, yeah. was definitely exciting. That's great. And then, was it our sophomore year or TVOs. TVO. Are you talking about TVOs? Well, that was sophomore year. We won. We got first place at our TVLs, and we had such a fun team. Yeah. Like her older sister was on our team, and her daughter and Shay. Like we had just such a good group of girls. It yeah. was so fun to win with them. And then, sorry, one more. <laughs> Freshman no. year and sophomore year, I don't think the football team won one game. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> so junior year, when they won their first game, was so exciting. That's great. And then senior year, they did so well. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And you guys are an integral part of, of, of that whole program, without, without question. Yeah. So again, it's, it's really been a pleasure to be part of the football program. And, and your, your influence and, and part of it has, has been fantastic to watch this year. Both of you are seniors. We know we both graduated. You've already told me where you're going, but I'll one more plug. Um, I'm going to St. Anselm's College in New Hampshire, and I'm going to be majoring in nursing. Out. Excellent, excellent. And I'm going to Sacred Heart in yeah. Fairfield, Connecticut. Sure, excellent. And all excited to go? That kind of stuff? Yes, yeah. very. Good, good, good. Well, listen, Coach, thank you so very much for all of the work that you put in for, for the, your entire team and all the squads. They, they, and you can see 
you know how that hard work pays off. Their, their work out there is just second to none, second mm. to none. Thank you, thank you very much. And to, to the two of you, congratulations on fantastic careers up here at the high school. It has been a lot of fun to watch you guys bring a lot of energy and excitement to, again, it's tough when the football team doesn't win, but it's a lot of fun <laughs> when they do win, right? But you guys are always upbeat and always positive. And I want to thank all three of you for coming in tonight and talking a little bit about your season. Thank, thank you for you. having thank us. You. Thank you.